I have felt it. Seeing your parents are carrying, carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them. I'm sure of it. Once, or ten years ago, and after your brother had been slain, your father had chose to leave Galia. Before he left, I went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, Why are you being chased? Is there a new thing I can do to help? But I was able to lose his tongue. And then I heard, heard he, he returned to Galia, and I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. If I had been faster, if I hastened my steps, perhaps things would have been different. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard. That was you, wasn't it? His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best not to interfere in his final moments, so I remained hitting. Huh, so that was Kanagus who was roaring back there. Tell me, Ike. At his last, did he confess anything to you? Did I touch any of the Black Knight? Did you reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command, told me to trust King Kanagus and to live peacefully in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. Is that so? Well then, let me do as I can. If any of your mercenaries desire to live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouch safe them homes and land. Your kindness is truly appreciated, but speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so quickly forget the past. Or the Black Knight. But Ike, it's not... I know. I'm not... I'm not strong enough. An opponent who could defeat my father is well beyond my reach. But that's why I'm going to my subject growing stronger. I will lead my father as mercenaries prepare for the day when my chance for revenge arrives. A prudent course of action. You look as one will be more impulsive, but you are Grail's son, after all. Huh. He li tried to listen to Grail's words, but nope. Huh. You've matured, Ike. It seems like yesterday we was merely a child. Titania. And now I ask a boot of you. The strength of your mercenary band, Ike. Would you lend to Princess Incia? Are you serious? King Kanagus! Galia and Cryer are allied nations that cannot be denied. However, this alliance is in reality binds away the royal families. It is not respected by our citizenry. People of Galilee are seldom seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, people of Crimea have little real understanding of the Lagoos. Many of our people still use that undignified name, subhuman, when they speak of the Lagoos. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow at what you describe. More than any king in our history, he wanted deep relations between our people, and then... Perhaps that is why Dane targeted him. The hatred of the Lagoos is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts. I would like to take guardianship of Prince Zinsia to assist the rebuilding of Crimea. However, anti bjork sentiment is running high here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe harbor to Lincia, I fear many of our elder statesmen would protest. They would say that we are giving Dane an ideal excuse to attack. Which means Gallia can't offer Princess Lincia any relief at all. Is that it? Unfortunately, it is true. My Lord Ike, King Kinnigus has advised me to, to turn Begna on theocracy and aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should work and make Begnion a formal request to gain the support of their shields. Passage to Begnion will require several months at sea. An escort will be necessary. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you, la as you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So, if the princes were willing to hire us as an escort, it would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titania, Soren, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer. What do you say? It's what you want, right, Commander? Well, then it's our job to follow you. However you wish to proceed is, is fine. I'll do all my power to ensure that our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail Mercenaries have assumed the honor of serving as escort to the Princess of Crimea. Princess Lithia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I only pray that I, in turn, may be worthy of your service. Well, ain't that awesome. Well, no point since we took too long on that one. Hour and a half, but let's record. Let's do this one part. Chapter 10 Prisoner Release. Hey, Ike. Heard you leaving. Going back, Niana. Hello, Ralph. I was hoping I'd see you. I'd wanted to thank you for everything you've done. I'm glad to have the chance before I leave. Oh, aren't you the dutiful one? Hey, that reminds me. You were born in Galley, right? I know there was something odd about you. You are awfully friendly for a Bjerg, you know. Oh, you might not know, but Bjerg is what... I know what it means. It's what you call us humans, right? Oh, knew that, did you? Well, then, let me tell you something else. When we use the word human, we mean it in the way the you Bjerg you do when you call us subhuman. Really? It's an insult to be called human? I'm glad you told me. I never would have guessed. 
I should warn you, if you run across any Legus who call you that, be careful. They are no friends of yours. Got it. Thanks. I won't forget. But I've progressed long enough. Let me explain why I'm here. Huh? Princess Lydia, may I have a moment of your time? Yes, of course. The king asked that I give you this. Please, accept it as a gift. What? May I ask? Within that leather pouch is 20,000 gold pieces. Be your courtesy, of course. Oh, I truly appreciate the generous offer, but a gift of this magnitude is not something I can accept. King Kinnigus has done so much more than necessary already. The king is ashamed that he cannot, at this time, provide any personal support. Please, will you accept this apology and acknowledge his desire to aid you? But... No? Well, then let's try this. Yes? You accept the king's gift. Then, as payment for conducting your safety in Gallia, you head it over to Ike. Um... Come on, Ranolf, you can't accept, accept, expect her to accept this. And it's an outrageous fee, no matter how you look at it. 20,000 gold for the life of a princess? Perfectly reasonable. In fact, it almost borders on insulting. Considering how you how you've suffered the lives you've lost, ten, no, a hundred times this amount would not be unreasonable. I I have reconsidered. I will accept the king's kindness. In turn, I will send to my lord Ike. He'll accept it, will you not? I I will. Thank you. No, my lord Ike. It is I must thank you. Twenty thousand G's. Well, now that's settled. Let's move on. Unfortunately, we do not have any ships here in Gallia. If you are to find a ship that will take you to Begnion, you must return to occupied Trimia. If there's no other way, then we'll just risk it. No matter how cautious you proceed, you're certain to run into Dane forces. Keep that in mind. I understand. It's too bad we're so short on soldiers. Still, there's not much we can do about that now. However, I will review our supplies carefully before we depart. In regard to personal problems, the king has decided to lend you what aid it can. Leth! Mordecai! I will join you. Mordecai! And Leth? Both of you? Are you sure? None of the others could stand the idea of traveling with humans. I myself trouble with loathing that thought of going to Begnion, but when the king gives his orders, obedience is the only option. That may be, but having witnessed the combat prowess of the Galleons for myself, I know how fortunate we are. We will not fail you. <laughs> I have no intention of becoming friends. Do not forget that, and stay out of my way. <laughs> you must forgive Leth. Her tongue cuts as deep as her claws do. I will return once I report to the king. While I'm gone, please finish preparations for departure. Very well. Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. Okay. We've earned 20,000 gold and spent only 700. We got 322 common experience. Marsha, thank you. No bones experience. The MVP is still Ike. So that means it is the kills. And we gained five new allies. Miss, Rolf, Marsha, Left, and Mordecai. No one died. There were no casualties and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report. So excuse me. And with this, I am calling it quits. Oh god, I need to eat something like now. This is Mage Knight 4 to you floor. Oh, uh, where is she? Marsha, I hope you can work well together. See you later, guys. Actually, hold that thought. I'm going to show you how to forge things first. Now that I have the money for it, let's forge a lance. Iron, please. You can, you can, you can, when you, well, when you're allowed to forge a weapon, you're, you're given a weapon as a base, and then you can raise the stats as follows. You can raise each, you can raise the, the attack, the might of the weapon, the hit of the weapon, the critical of the weapon, and the weight of the weapon, or lower, by five, uh, increments of five. Well, guess not for critical. I won't waste money on that. You can also log the chain of the weapon name if you'd like. Oh, good, there are quotation marks. This makes this all the better for I'm gonna name this sucker P. O K E exclamation part Polk And make it pink to match Marsha's hair color. This is for you. You are allowed to forge one weapon for each at each chapter, and that's it. Alright. See you later guys for real. <laughs>